<laughs> my name is Richard. I am a flight attendant, traveler, and lifestyle vlogger. If you are subscribed, welcome back. If you aren't, become a legacy and subscribe today. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All of those will be linked. Um, right now, I'm in Los Angeles. I'm on a layover. This might be a lazy layover. I might do something. Not exactly sure yet, but right now I'm just going to be editing vlog 5, which should be up by now, so I'll put a link to it up in this corner, I believe. Um, so yeah, come and enjoy my three-day trip with me. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm editing vlog 5. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. Well, probably like a week from now if you're watching this then, but hopefully it'll be up the 13th. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so it's later on tonight. Since I'm not doing pretty much anything tonight in Los Angeles, since it's kind of a crappy night, I thought I'd walk you through my basic nightly skincare routine. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can do. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is wash my hands, just to make sure I have nice clean hands. Alright, so I use an oil cleanser sometimes. It depends on my mood or it depends on how greasy my face feels, but if it's been a long day or just a day on the airplane, I use my oil cleanser and I put that on dry to my face. Just a little bit, kind of damp my hands and just kind of roll it around in a circular motion. And you'll start to see this like milky type of liquid and that's good that means all the oil is kind of working and getting all the excess dirt off all right so now that i've got that on my next step is to cleanse my face with this neutrogena oil free cleanser which is orange i don't have the whole bottle with me but this is how i carry it in my toiletry bag Side note, I think I'm gonna do a what's in my toiletry bag video really soon, so stay tuned later on in the channel for that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hop in the shower, cleanse my face, shower the rest of my body, and then I'll see you guys back in a few seconds. <laughs> okay, skin is cleansed. You can tell I'm like a little bit flushed. That usually happens after I cleanse my face. But now, um, I'm gonna go in Let's see, here it is. So I put, I always put a little, <sighs> okay, I think it's over. I'm usually a twosie. Okay, so I always bring a travel size jar with me. I'll link all these products that I use down below and this just has my facial mask in it. So I really, I put on a really thin layer, courtesy of my friend Natalie, she told me that I should be putting on a really thin layer of clay masks because that's how they work the best is if you have a thin layer. So I'm just going to put on a thin layer on my cheeks and my T-zone basically and then I'll let this dry. This looks thicker than it is. I don't know why, it just does. So I'm gonna put this on my T, I'm not gonna put it on my forehead. I never put masks on my forehead because my forehead never is problems. So I'm gonna leave that clear, I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. All right, so I just finished off washing my face mask. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna follow up with my night cream, which my night cream is basically just a moisturizing cream. I use basically all CeraVe products, so it just looks like this. I put about that amount on it, and then I just rub it all around my face, starting with the eyes or under eyes, and then work my way out. So basically the regimen I am following is the Korean 10 step um, face regimen. Very similar to it. I don't do all the steps, but I try to follow as best as I can. Alright, again, my face is a little bit flush, but it's kind of warm in here. And just the way it is. And then I kind of rub the excess in my hair just as a nightly conditioner. 
my hair kind of looks a little bit more conditioned in the morning as well. All right, and then right after I put my moisturizer, I follow up this 2.5% uh, benzoyl peroxide gel, and then I'll put that on. And then, once everything dries and gets soaked in, I'll put on this retinoid gel, which is different, and that keeps my face clear as well. So I kind of do both, and I only do this at night to help with irritation and things like that. And again, not on the eyes, but I start inwards and then work my way outwards. I put this on my forehead just so everything's taken care of, because you never know. I usually do not have problems with my forehead, but it's better safe than sorry. All right, other than the retinoid, we're pretty much done. So that is my nightly skincare regimen. <laughs> in the morning, I basically do the same thing, other than I don't use oil cleanser usually in the morning, just because um, I don't have my morning moisturizer or anything like that. My morning morning moisturizer has SPF and stuff like that, and that's why I always want to make sure all of that gets taken off, as well as if I use my um, translucent powder on my face. That's another reason why I like to use um, the oil cleanser at night. So I hope you enjoy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, my face looks a mess. Okay, but before I go to bed, I wanted to show you guys so my room does not have a fridge. So I'm going to show you guys what I do in that sort of situation with my lunch bag because I have so many um, like perishable things because I meal prep. Um, let me show you what I do in that situation. Okay, so I know some people will put it in like their sink, but that kind of grosses me out, so I'm not going to do the sink thing. I'm going to do, just put it right in my lunch bag. Oh my god, you guys, I feel like I'm at the Hotel Cortez, you know, from American Horror Story. Maybe got a little bit too much, but I think it'll work. Okay, I think it worked. <laughs> I had to take a few things out, but I think it worked. I read somewhere that intelligent people keep notebooks next to their bed, so it's kind of a habit I picked up along the way, and I don't know if it's made me any more intelligent, but <laughs> it's worked. <laughs> I also use it to design like my thumbnails, so kind of like balancing out fonts and things like that I use it for um, and I just keep it next to my bed so when I have an idea I write it down let's see oh there's my um, here's another drawing this is of a Airbus bulkhead so this is like another idea for a thumbnail somehow um, galley talk that's another idea <laughs> um, hold on I have another one. Oh, this is a new thumbnail this is a very dumbed down version but this is a new design I'm actually going to use on, I think it's vlog seven, probably the thumbnail. It's morning. <laughs> uh, so we get free breakfast here. So I'm gonna head down there real quick. I think it ends in a few minutes. So I have to run down there and get some of that. I couldn't really sleep after 7 a.m. and it's about, it's almost 11 now. So I might as well take advantage of that. I never travel without one of these. <laughs> okay, I'm walking to Starbucks. I have to get ready for the van in a few minutes. Um, yeah, I wish I had a better view of the airport. My other room had like a perfect view of the runway and the planes were landing that day. They kind of change runways depending on the traffic and things like that around the Los Angeles area. Um, and it was foggy too, so that would be another reason. But I was so mad because my new room has a view of nothing <laughs> do you guys see the famous LAX sign right there <laughs> there it is well one of them there's a bunch of them but that's one of them all right if you guys followed me on snapchat you would know what this is it's my jet fuel 
The weather here in LA today is like perfect. It was a little bit chilly when I started my walk, but then I started to get pretty warm. So it's been a good walk. <laughs> uh, I'm back in bed. Okay, so we're walking on the tunnel between Terminal 4 and Terminal 5, and we're in Los Angeles, and they have the history of flight throughout this long hallway. It's such a good idea because it would be kind of boring and scary if it was just like white walls. So this is like a perfect idea. Whoever designed this deserves a raise. Well, at least we have to do Yeah. <laughs> Concord. Hi, so we're on the airplane now. We're working Los Angeles to Pittsburgh. I'm the galley position, which is position C. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the galley. Um, we're in a 319, so it's our smallest airplane. So there's only three of us, which is awesome. Standing in the street alone, alone, alone. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone. our smallest plane like I said earlier um, but it's pretty much all the flight attendants favorite. I like the 321 but the 319 has its days. There's Bailey! <laughs> okay, well, I'll bundle it up. So I wasn't supposed to be picked up but my mother decided to surprise me and tell me she was at the airport so mom's picking me up. 13 hour layover here. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna come here talk for like 10 minutes and then go to sleep. But it's fine. It's whatever. By the way, today was like a super easy day. Everybody was super friendly and nice. It was great. <laughs> I love Pittsburgh people. It's not just because I'm from here. Okay, I'm pulling the Marie Antoinette tonight. <laughs> I saw cake and I said, Mom, who is this? And she said, whoever wants it. And I said, all right, let me eat cake. Oh, good you. Do you want cake? We want some too, but I don't think Lily's allowed to have chocolate. So you know what you sound like. So we're on the airplane. Today we have three legs. So this is the longest day of our entire trip. We do Pittsburgh, Fort Myers, Fort Myers, Chicago, Chicago, Dallas. And we have a two hour sit in Fort Myers. So I might get food when we're there. But it's go home day. <laughs> I didn't get to film much at home because I was just kind of hanging out with my family and sleeping. So, but I'm back. 
Oh yeah, and today we're on a 320, so there's four of us, it'll be fine. I know pretty much everyone working, so that'll be great. <laughs> Alright, we're in Fort Myers. Um, we have a little bit of a sit, but it's on the same airplane, so I'm just sitting in the jetway enjoying some of the sunshine. <laughs> just for a little bit. I was gonna try to like take a little nap, but I can't really sleep, so. Enjoying the sunshine. I'm so hungry. This is happening. <laughs> Just about to get off the plane in DFW, ready to go home. Um, so a bunch of you guys are watching my cooking video and saying that you want to make it the vegan style. I'm like, I kind of want to see it. Maybe I'll make it the next time with like tofu or something. It sounds really good, but I'm pretty sure it's all vegan except maybe the hoisin and honey. I don't know. Let me know. In the car. I'm home! <laughs> Do you guys see my uniform in the kitchen? That's sad. <laughs> okay, so I have like 221 subscribers as of right now, so I'm like pretty much... I think I'm viral. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I think that's a wrap on this vlog. It was a long day, but it was good. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And become a legacy today and subscribe because without you, I would be nothing. So have a good night and enjoy your life. <laughs> Bye.